Speaker Nancy Pelosi is by her husband's side tonight in the hospital after he was attacked by a hammer-wielding intruder inside their San Francisco home. 82-year-old Paul Pelosi suffered a skull fracture and other injuries when the man yelling, where's Nancy, broke a window to get in. Chris Wolf joins us live from the news center with more on the shocking attack and what we are learning about the suspected intruder. Chris. That's right. Micah Share, the San Francisco police chief, says he believes quick action from the 911 dispatcher and responding officers saved the life of Paul Pelosi. Nancy Pelosi arrived in San Francisco this evening from Washington, D.C. She touched down and traveled via motorcade to be at her husband's side at the hospital. He said uh, he suffered a fractured skull and other serious injuries, but doctors say will recover. Tonight, Republicans and Democrats alike are condemning the attack, including President Biden. There's too much violence, political violence, too much hatred. It was a brutal early morning attack on the spouse of a national political figure, and the violence has sent shockwaves across the country and across the nation's capital. An intruder with a hammer beat 82-year-old Paul Pelosi, husband of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, inside the couple's multi-million dollar San Francisco home. Investigators say the stranger shouted, where's Nancy, then tried to tie up her husband and wait for her to come home. The suspect is identified as 42-year-old David Wayne DePappy of Berkeley, described as a hemp jewelry maker who lived with a nudist activist at one time. He posted about conspiracy theories on Facebook, and those who knew him say he's an odd character. When police arrived at the Pelosi home around 2.30 a.m., they found attacker and victim struggling over one hammer. Officers, while still outside of the doorway, threshold gave commands to both men to drop the hammer. Mr. DePappi immediately pulled the hammer away from Mr. Pelosi and violently attacked him with the hammer. And we've learned the victim is the one who was able to call 911 and leave the line open for emergency personnel until police arrived. Terrible. It's very scary. Threats against lawmakers and judges have surged since the January 6th, 2021 storming of the U.S. Capitol. Now, following the break-in at the Pelosi House, Capitol Police are considering additional protection for families of congressional leaders. The violence erupted less than two weeks before the midterm elections and in the middle of growing concerns over the possibility of attacks against all levels of government, launched by domestic extremists. Accused Pelosi attacker David DePappi faces charges of attempted murder, assault with a deadly weapon, elder abuse, and burglary, among other felonies. For now, reporting live in the News Center, I'm Chris Wolf, KTLA 5 News. Chris, thank you.